Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. This video is about the universal logic gates. These are the topics covered in this video with simple explanation. First is the basic introduction to logic gates. Kindly check the link given in the description for a brief overview about Boolean algebra. Logic gates are the basic building blocks of a digital system. Each logic gate is represented with its own symbol. The lines on the left denote input to the gate. A logic gate can have any number of inputs except the NOT gate that has only one input. The line on the right denotes output from the gate. All gates can have only one output. Basic Boolean operations performed by logic gates are AND, OR, NOT. The logic gates can also be connected together to produce a different logic function. Truth table is associated with each logic gate. There are seven different logic gates AND, OR, NOT, XOR, NAND, NOR, XNOR. Basic logic gates are explained with simple pictorial representations in our previous video. Kindly check the link given in the description. Let us now check out the function of universal logic gates NAND and NOR in this video. The NAND gate the NAND gate function is just the reverse of the AND gate. The NAND gate output is low only when all of its inputs are high. 1 denotes a high signal and 0 denotes a low signal. When both A and B are 1, the output Q is 0. The logic NAND gate function is sometimes known as the Sheffer stroke function. Kindly remember this bit of information which might sometimes be asked in competitive exams. So, in NAND gate, if both A and B are true, then Q is not not true. Two input NAND gate symbol looks this way with a two input AND gate having an inverting circle or inverting bubble at the output. NAND operation is denoted by a dot as Q equal to A dot B and an overline to signify the negation. The truth table lists all possible input combinations and the output produced by the gate. This is the truth table of a two input NAND gate. The output Q is 1 for all combinations of input except Except the case when both inputs are 1, the output Q is 0. The NAND gate is termed as universal logic gate because it can be used to produce all the other logic gates. The NAND gates can be connected in various combinations to produce the result of basic logic gates. The NOT gate can be implemented with NAND gate by connecting all the NAND input pins to the input signal A. This gives an output of NOT gate A bar. The AND gate implementation using NAND gate is done by connecting one NAND gate output A dot B bar to another NAND gate. The output is then A dot B as that of an AND gate. A NAND gate with its inputs complemented by NAND gate inverters produces an OR gate. Another universal logic gate is the NOR gate. The NOR gate function is just the reverse of an OR gate. The NOR gate output goes low when any of its inputs is high. The logic of a NOR gate is that of a logical multiplication performed on the complements of inputs. So, in NOR gate, if both A and B are not true, then Q is true. Two input NOR gate is given as a symbol whose shape is that of a standard OR gate with a circle called an inversion bubble at its output to represent the negation of output. The Boolean expression is denoted by a plus sign and an overline as A plus B bar. This is the truth table of a two input NOR gate. The output Q is 1 only when all inputs are 0. Q is 0 for all other input combinations. The NOR gate is also termed as universal logic gate because it can also be used to produce all the other logic gates. Like the NAND gate, the NOR gates can be connected in various combinations to produce the result of AND or NOT gates. The NOT gate output can be produced by connecting all NOR input pins to the input signal A. This gives an output of NOT gate A bar. The OR gate implementation using NOR gate is done by connecting one NOR gate output A plus B bar to another NOR gate. The output is then A plus B as that of an OR gate. 
The AND gate is implemented using NOR gate by first complementing all the inputs using NOR gates and then connecting the complemented inputs to a NOR gate. Okay then, it's done for today. Hope this video would have been useful. Kindly encourage us by giving a like to this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Hit the bell icon for sure. Thank you for watching.